Alright guys, welcome back. Mtech Guy here and today we're going to be looking at cleaning some Alcantara fabric in particular the headline on E60M5 Alright, so what is Alcantara fabric? Well, it's pretty much a fake suede. It's made of polyester. You find it in a lot of sports cars interiors. It's a real luxurious fabric but it's not very hard wearing. It's a reasonably delicate fabric so it does make it quite difficult to clean and you have to go careful because you can destroy the plushness of the fabric, the, the nap of the finish of the fabric. So what product are we going to be using to clean it today? Well, we're back on the old genuine BMW products. Here we've got the Alcantara and upholstery cleaner here. Now I'm a big fan of the BMW cleaning products. I've had a lot of luck with them. They do a good job and they're pretty reasonably priced compared to a lot of the regular brands you get in the big store, the big automotive stores. I'm pretty sure these are all manufactured by Sonex. Now, you could almost see them as the OEM manufacturer if you like, but um, yeah, I think they're the original manufacturer of these, and you can probably find their own products which are exactly the same, a little bit cheaper. But to be honest with you, I just shoot down to the dealer, and like I say, the pretty reasonable price. And again, I'm not affiliated with any of these manufacturers. This is all based on my own experience, my own opinion, but you know, I'm not getting anything out of this, so I'm not mucking around here, I'm not going to lie to you. I've had great uh, results with these. So that's my favourite, I stick with these, mainly. So let's jump in the car and make a start. Okay, so normally you'd start off by vacuuming the material, if it was a seat material, but with this being a headliner, obviously there's not much loose dirt sticking to it. So the biggest thing to keep in mind with the Alcantara is that we don't want to saturate it. So when we get into it, we'll just spray a small light coating of the clean product on there, and then we're just going to wipe it clean the microfiber towel now we're not going to go rubbing it in mad or agitating the fabric too much just a gentle wipe just to wipe the soap off there and then uh, once it's all dry again just go over it with a final um, vacuum and then that just should lift the fibers back up and give it that nice texture again now with this being a headliner we want to pay particular attention to certainly not oversaturate the material because of course since the day this was fitted in the factory you've had that gravitational pull just pulling on that material the whole time and we don't want to do anything that's going to encourage that to uh, sag down or cause any issues further down the line so we're not going to oversaturate it now the headliner has like a sponge behind it so the sponge and the alcantara are both glued to the headliner itself so what we want to avoid doing is releasing that glue or compromising it anyway where it's going to um, cause the headliner to start sagging. Well, the reason I've chosen to clean the headliner today is because, well, I've been through the whole car, I've cleaned the leather, cleaned the carpets, cleaned all the surfaces, the dash, the door cards, everything since I first bought the car. I've done, been through it a few times. But whenever this car sits in the sun, there's a slight hint of cigarette smoke. And I'm assuming that... Uh, that smoke's gotten into the headliner over the years. Maybe it was the first owner of the car or previous owner was obviously a smoker. Now there certainly wasn't any hint of cigarette smell when I first bought the car, but it is something I've noticed uh, when the car's been sat out in the sun, middle of the day, and it does seem to release that odor. And I'm assuming that it's coming from this headliner because like I say, I've been through the whole car. The whole car's nice, clean and fresh. So uh, we'll give it a go. We'll see how we get on. Now this product does say that you can use it on Alcantara headliners too and uh, with it being an aerosol it does advise that it can be used upside down, you know spraying overhead without any issue. So we'll start off by giving the product a good shake, mix it all up and we'll just start on this top left hand corner of the headliner here and we'll just give it a small thin coating and then we'll wipe it with the microfiber gently, like I talked about. We'll see how we get on. There we go, so I'm not pressing too hard, and I'm not rubbing it in too vigorously. Just nice and gently, just wipe the soap away. And that certainly smells a lot better already. I'll just work through the whole headliner, the whole car, just small section at a time. And again, just being careful, being mindful of not wanting to oversaturate the material, just a little bit at a time. 
see how we go. Yeah, this is turning out to be a real nice product to use it doesn't seem to want to saturate or soak in too much it seems to evaporate reasonably quick which is really nice works really nice with the Alcantara but you do have to be reasonably quick just to give it that wipe down I just got finished cleaning the whole headliner also ended up doing the parcel tray as well that's Alcantara too so like I said earlier on in the video what I'll do now is let that dry and then I'll just come over with a vacuum cleaner with the extension on with the small soft brush just to uh, lift them fibers back up because they're just laying a bit flat now they've uh, had a bit of product on them so one thing to watch with the vacuum cleaner is you don't want to be rubbing the plastic nozzle right against this especially for some beers on the end of it because what it'll do it'll sort of mark the headliner permanently so just make sure either you got the soft brush or just put your finger over the end of it just move it like that and that BMW products work really well you can see here so this one the cleanest microfiber that was the bulk of the headliner this one with a small amount of dirt on it that was right above the driver's seat so obviously that's all that tobacco that cigarette smoke just been collecting over the years who whoever smoked originally with the care and then this one was the parcel shelf so this must have been a lot of that tar, a lot of that nicotine just settling on there over the years probably the first time it's had a good clean so it's certainly got a lot of that crap out of there I could certainly smell it smell the nicotine when I was cleaning it as well so hopefully that's cut down all or most of the smell when it's sitting in the Sun certainly reduced my chances of getting lung cancer in the summertime anyhow and with this one being so dirty I think I'll go across and clean that parcel shelf once again with a clean microfiber just give it a second going over just to get all that muck out of there so as far as the amount of products that you'll need I found that one can was enough to do the whole headliner and all the pillar trims but then when it came to getting into the parcel shelf I did find I needed another can but yeah one can's enough to do the headliner and your pillar trims all right guys that's that job done and it doesn't smell too bad either if you found the video useful don't forget to like and subscribe I'm MTIC Guy. Thanks for watching.